Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Iron Man 3, the official game for the uh, iOS device or Android. Today we're going to be looking at the Mark 6 or 4, I think 6, Mark 6 armor. As you can see, this armor is pretty similar to what we are used to seeing as Iron Man. There's that red and gold color or orange, one of them. I think it's more gold. Anyways, um, it's very similar to the traditional Iron Man armor, as you can see. Now we're going to be looking at how this suit performs in the game, and I guess if it's actually worth going through the stages with him. So we're going to look at the description first of this armor, and what it says is that, that it's this that it's a well-equipped suit that runs on cleaner power source than previous generation of Iron Man armors. So, I don't know, there's nothing really special in particular to this armor, I guess, but we do have a boss fight in this level, which is the Living Laser. As you can see, we're in the harbor or city um, where they're building a lot of stuff. So if you notice the armor right now, um, the back, something is, I think something is coming out of it or something. There's like red flaps. So the back of the armor opens up. Wow, well, that was such a good dodge. The stage is still relatively the same. I mean, there's not much difference here. You're still seeing the harbor and basically the same cranes and missiles and planes okay there we got hit but you can really see that, that that Iron Man red flap on the back of his uh, armor is really flying out from the armor. I'm not sure what it does actually, but nothing is coming out of it. There's no thrusters under there or anything. Okay, that was good. <laughs> okay, so you dodge everything and you hit the building. So this is the Unabeam Blast, and you can see the back there uh, popping out a lot more, I guess. But that was the Unabeam Blast. This armor, the Mark VI, I believe, is part of the Unablast, uh, Unabeam Blast armor section. So it's the second column of armor. We have to make it to 40, that, oh, we just missed the uh, fusion charge. But we need to get to 40,000 or 45,000 miles to fight the boss. Okay, this is getting bad. So we are going to launch the Unibeam Blast again, and as you can see... Right there, you can see the back of his suit is... Uh, but I think you can still see it. Actually, I think some blue stuff are coming out of it. Oh no, it's because uh, the suit is damaged. Okay, we're at 25.
Ouch. Okay, this subway portion is probably one of the most difficult portions in the game. Not doing so well. So this definitely feels like a weaker armor. If you're playing to fight the li living laser, choose a different suit. Look at the hand. Oh, okay. We're gonna re we're gonna revive. Um, we're almost there. I don't. It's restarting is just a pity. Well, we're at forty thousand, as you can see. So when are we gonna see this boss now? Either the stage is harder or the suit is not that suitable for the stage. Okay, so there he is. This is the living laser. You're taking this awfully personally for a guy who's just in it for the money. So we're gonna use our super here because uh, that'll probably take him out faster. But as you can see, it's only draining a bit, not as much as any other suit that we've used. So we're gonna have to swipe here, and there he goes. So definitely not a suit you want to use unless it's upgraded to the max. So that is about it for this armor. Um, I'm going to do a little quick recap and review for this armor. And we're going to try to kill ourselves here, but not too quickly though. Um, this armor isn't that powerful. If you have another armor, then you should probably use that armor. A better armor. Even at max strength, this armor couldn't probably go 40 thousand miles especially with the attack too uh, I think he was rather weak in terms of killing the boss he used usually one super would do a lot of damage but that nearly probably took 25% Oni and then the swiping actually took it all off I mean his health their health but we are going to try to annihilate ourselves now by not doing anything. So you can watch the back of his uh, thing lap up and down. And that would be it for today. I mean, I think these guys are going to send a super blast. There we go. Anyways, thank you for watching. And that was the review of the Mark VI. Um, armor, the Unibeam lost line of armor. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.